Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and online television. I am famously known for That Celebrity Interview, where I conduct interviews all over the globe by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash ValderBeebeShow, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder Beebe Show channel. I'll see you there. Good morning, Catherine Winnick. Thank you for joining me on the Valdo BB Show live in Dallas, Texas. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm fine. I just finished watching your History Channel's Vikings, and you are, I can't say the word on radio because they'll be, you know, sending me emails, but you are a force to reckon with. Ah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. It's such you know, a I fun like to role say to play. Else. Yeah, yeah, you are a force, female force. You are just a human force to reckon with. Tell me about this character that I am so enamored by now. Uh, well, I played Lagertha, a shield maiden and uh, a warrior, but also a mother and a wife of Ragnar Lothbrok. And in season 4B, she really comes into her own and, and um, gets some power back. So there's, there's going to be a lot of fun stuff that's going to come and hit the airways. So um, I think this season's going to be more epic than, you, than anything you've ever seen. Is this mid-season four that you guys are coming back? Yes. And working on season five already? We are actually shooting five as we speak. We're on Christmas break right now. But you are seeing 4B, so we shot that about a year ago. So um, it's it's nice just to see your hard work being out there. But, you know, when you're in Ireland, we, we're trying to remember, what did we actually shoot? So, so <laughs> I'm getting the cheat sheet and trying to remember what we shot. But um, well, it should be a lot so of fun. Much about there's so much about you. You are a martial arts expert, and the industry is loving you for that. You know that. <laughs> yeah, I started training martial arts at the age of seven. Um, I got my first junior black belt at the age of 13, and I started my martial arts school at the age of 16. I had three different uh, schools of martial arts in Toronto by the time I was 21. So I started teaching actors martial arts and movie sets before I was even an actor. And um, it took many years for me to uh, figure out that this is what I want to do to be in front of the camera and um, to find a role that I can incorporate two of my loves, obviously the passion of, of great dialogue and working with great artists, but also getting a chance to kick some ass. <laughs> so, yes. so I think Lagertha definitely does that in playing her. I, I have a lot of fun. Yesterday I had a great honor to talk with the famous Malcolm McDowell. Oh. I'm sure you know who that is. Yeah. Right? And he gave my audience such great advice, which we've always heard. Love what you do, do what you love. Is that how you feel about what you're doing? Oh, very much so. I don't feel like it's work. It's even at 4.15 wake-up calls when you get picked up and you go to work when it's pitch black and you come home when it's pitch black. It's when you love what you do and waking up every day and being inspired by what you do. It doesn't doesn't feel like work. It's when you're waiting around to, to do what you love to do. That's when... You, they pay you, and that's when you, that's, that's more of the hard part. Um, but I, I feel like hard work always pays off, and you need to prepare for everything that you um, have a passion for, and, and, uh, and that's if, it, if it's studying to be a doctor or if it's preparing your lines or understanding a character, I think uh, hard work definitely pays off. So, Well, I love your character, Largatha, in history, you know, the History Channel Viking, because okay. she could be set in today. She was a mother, as you, you told me already. She just had other agendas to go along with that, and that's how life is today. So playing that character back then, what do you pull on from today so that you can have this strength and where people are buzzing about you on the Internet? And I'm so serious about that. 
Oh, <laughs> thank you. Um, well, I think a lot of people relate to Lagertha just because the issues that she deals with is relevant to viewers and as the audience members. If it's to do with her uh, struggle with her ex-husband <laughs> or if it's uh, the other woman or uh, Lagertha is in a position of power and um, has had to deal with being a woman in a position of power is always complicated and, and tricky. And, and I think those issues, people relate to them. And, and um, also Vikings has a lot to do with the storyline of, of the other characters being so um, deep and in-depth and, and that it's, uh, it's definitely very juicy. I, it's, it's, it's my favorite TV show that I've ever worked on, and I'm extremely proud of it. Well, you're an extremely talented person. You've got two oh, films you. coming out in 2017. Yeah. I can't wait to see you. Thank you. And good luck in all that you do. So <laughs> when are we going to be watching? Tell my audience so they, they will know, like I know where. We know to watch it on the History Channel. Yes. So when do you want us to watch? Um, definitely watch History Channel on Vikings on Wednesday night at 9 p.m. And uh, Dark Towers is coming out, too, so I'm excited for you guys to see that. Catherine Winnick, we will be watching you on the big screen Thank and you. definitely the small screen. Thank you for gracing the Belder BBC. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me.